obviously, um, you know, we, we had a tough uh, challenge ahead of us today, um, you know, being, uh, you know, with down this really five and a quarter players because Carlton, you know, with his back, uh, you know, probably could play 10, 12 minutes. Uh, has it, he practiced one day. So, but um, we, we did what uh, the, the league has made a decision. The coaches voted for eight players or wanted eight. I fought for eight. We were hoping to get seven. Uh, they made a decision about six. So we had six scholarship guys available. Obviously it's, uh, you know, it makes it tough on, on, on you, um, you know, and then the worst things that could happen, Davion getting in foul trouble, um, you know, was, it was, you know, just as a disaster. Um, but our kids had, you know, they played hard. They played, uh, played their hearts out. I, I just hope, and the thing I didn't, I didn't, with playing this game, I just hope we can keep their spirit up. Uh, I told them after, I'm proud of them. Guys like Joey took advantage of it. Rudy plays 40 minutes. Um, Selton played till he cramped. Carlton played till he couldn't play anymore. Um, so you're, you're proud of those guys. Um, all the guys I'm proud of. And, um, you know, we're, we've played 13 games. I turned the game on the other day and the team had three games that they had played. So in that aspect, I know we haven't got wins, but, um, you know, it, it, it's, I guess it's a positive because we've gotten experience. Now, it, I thought it, we just got to get a little better execution, smarter, a little more mature. When we pass the basketball, we're pretty good, 15 assists on 21 field goals. I thought right before the end of the uh, first half, they hit a couple threes. And we shot about three or four threes in a row uh, down the stretch, and and we turned it over a couple times, and uh, that was a for them to grab that lead at halftime. Thought we came out, we got got a couple threes, three, four stops in a row to start the game. Second half, got it to Davion, uh, got a layup, got it to him again. You know, he got fouled, didn't finish, uh, didn't finish, but um, you know, we gave ourselves a chance, but then. Obviously, the foul trouble uh, hurt us. And, and then, you know, just you're asking the guys to play until exhaustion. I thought we did a great job on Kate Cunningham. Selton had that matchup along with all the guys help, being in the right health spots. Um, but the, the, again, like several other times, the other guys hurt us. Uh, Boone gets uh, the points in the paint, getting it down low. Uh, we, just, we just couldn't stop them. Uh, and, you know, that, that was a big difference. So, um, I, again, I just uh, feel for Nigel. Uh, you know, he, he's been, if I've had one guy that's been diligent and de disciplined about his mask, now I'm sure he's not perfect. He's a young man. I think he's done a great job with that. But, uh, you know, to lose him is, is, makes it really tough. I feel for Surrey. This is his either second or third contact tracing. Uh, he had, a, you know, got a, got some things done the other day, and now he's got to sit again seven, eight days. Uh, but it's it's part of COVID. It's, it's part of the season. Um, and all we can do is, as a staff, keep helping them, fighting with them, battling, and just hope we can, you know, improve. And if we ever get everybody back, if you think about it, four of our top six players that started the season are not – we're not on the court today. And that's Casey, Monty, Antonio – and Nigel, so it, it puts you in a bind, but it, it is what it is, and you can't, you just gotta help them and hope we, we make some strides. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll take the first question from Kellis Robinette. Chris, how much uh, did your stomach or heart or whatever sink when you got that call Thursday that Nigel wasn't feeling well? Um, it, was, it was really tough to be honest, and, and he said, Coach, I, I had a little, uh, so a little fever, a little sweat overnight. I took my temperature. I was up 99, but he said I woke up. He didn't really want to tell Luke uh, because he didn't want to miss. And I just said, let's come over to the facility and see what your temperature was. And it was actually back to normal. But um, I just said, we can't take a chance and uh, make, you know, and I'm glad we did. Um, again, I feel for him. Um, you know, he, he's coming off a, uh, Pretty, pretty, you know, impressive performance the other day, but uh, you know, it, it's just 
I just feel bad for him. I feel bad for Surrey. I feel bad for our guys. But you can't if you just, you know, you you can't give in. And um, you know, you got to keep that fighting spirit. Um, I would I would also mention that I know Gene did not want the six players. Uh, actually, some of the some of the athletic directors said five, and we thought that was. Uh, as coaches, we, we thought that was just ridiculous. And it's, it's but um, they got it to six. And, um, you know, it, 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 it's a rule. We got it. I, I do what, um, I've always been a company man and do what, that's why I've stayed in the business, do what people ask of me and, and try to do my best with the circumstances. And that's all we can do as a team. I guess the, the hard thing is it's, it's not just a one, game deal right I mean yeah, he's maybe you get Antonio back but next time but it's probably hopefully, gonna be the same for him hopefully get Antonio back he hasn't practiced in three weeks or since he hasn't practiced since the Jacksonville game so figure that out wherever that was before Christmas so he'll he'll get the practice on Monday but even that you're you know you got to watch for the health of the kids um and that you know, even trying to play Carlton extended minutes today, Raleigh probably would have pushed that. So you got to, you know, that's what I worry about more than anything, uh, the health of our guys and um, and their spirit, because it's it, it's hard. It, it is hard, but they, to their credit, they've played 13 games. Hopefully all the experience, experience will help us. And as I said, if we get everybody back um, some point in the season, uh, maybe we can, come together and, and do some things uh, special down the stretch. And, and just, just to be clear, if, it, if they'd have come to just you and said, Bruce, do you feel comfortable playing this game, rules or not, you'd have said, let's postpone it probably? Yeah, I, I think I would have. Yes, okay. I, I thought it was, uh, I thought for our circumstances, I would have, I would have uh, uh, not played it. I would have been all right with it. But again, I, you, you've got to do what the league says. You got to do what the rules say. And, um, and that's why, you know, hopefully that's why I've been able to stay in the business, do things right, and do what uh, your boss says, do what the league says. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's all you can, that's all you can do. That's all, that's I rate. My dad raised me that way, my mom. And uh, maybe sometimes I'm too much of a company man. I probably should have, probably should have fought a little more, but hopefully it'll help us in the long run. Thanks, Bruce. Hang in there. Uh, next question uh, to John Kurtz. Bruce, just uh, what, what can you do to, to try and keep Davion out of foul trouble a little bit more just to get that moving forward? You know, he's got to stay down on shot fakes. Um, uh, you know, he, he a couple box outs, things like that. He's just a young big man, and he's better when – I think he's better when there's a big bulky guy. Obviously, the quickness hurts him. Um, you know, he's been unbelievable. I, I – I've said it many times, you know, he's been our biggest surprise. Um, he, he's, he's done, you know, un, you know, unbelievable things, you know, with the, taking advantage of Casey being out, it's given him minutes. And, uh, you know, I, I just, we got, you know, he's got to stay down on five shot fakes. He can't get the ticky tech against Texas tech, go back and watch the tape. He has one foul 92 feet from the hoop. The other one, 94 feet from the hoop. And then he gets a back pick foul. Those are the ones that are the, the backbreakers. And because he's going to get some. He's a young big guy. He's, you know, still figuring it out. Um, you know, I guess to their credit, you know, go at him. Make him – get him in foul trouble. Obviously, it puts put us in a bind. He didn't take a lot of shots today, but how would you feel about the, the job that you guys did on Kate Cunningham? Well, I thought, you know, it was good scouting report, Coach uh, – uh, Lowry did. Uh, we got in. We stayed in on ball screens. Um, we made him. We made him be a passer. That was our whole thing. And he's a great passer. But we felt, and and I and I think right before half they hit a couple threes that were really huge, that uh, got them got them the lead. And uh, you know we could never catch up after that. And we had a couple plays. You know if you make those go, maybe it, it's a little tighter. Maybe it's not free flowing for them as it was. But uh, you know, Cade's a very, very good player. I, our guys did a great job. Selton has a big body. Uh, he, I think, as it move, as we move forward, I think Selton could be a defensive stopper. 
but it's it's the team defense and the guys in the ball screens, the guys helping out helping out in the gaps, making them kick. And uh, it, we did some good things on him. Isaac obviously hurt us. The other guys hurt us. Avery uh, Anderson got some hoops, uh, hit a couple. Uh, Walker did some good things for them, and the and Boone. So, and that's been one of our problems. We've done pretty good on the main guys. The other guys have been guys that have really hurt us. So, uh, but we're you know we we're learning. We tried to play some zone. Uh, again, you you know we yesterday we <laughs> you don't, don't practice for for two days, and then you're trying to get everything in. We did about an hour and 45 minute walkthrough today, just trying to put a zone out of bounds and do some things just to see if we could survive, but uh, not enough. Appreciate it, Bruce. Thanks. Uh, next question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, does this just kind of put you in a day by day situation to where you're not even looking ahead to Wednesday yet, or you tell me? Well, it's every, that's every day is a day to day. I mean, you, you wake up, I actually, you know, I felt pretty good. Um, Wednesday, you know, we had, you watch the film, you know, we, we played pretty well against Tech. We moved the ball, shot almost 50, 40-something from three, did some pretty good things against, you know, a team that's supposed to be top 20. Um, the guys were in the, actually, Nigel was in the gym shooting Wednesday morning when I came to test at 10 o'clock. Dejuan was in. Most of them came in on their day off to, either shoot or watch film. Um, so I was pretty fired up. And then Thursday morning, we had our we had a video and weights. And that's when we got the call about Nigel. And obviously, so every day is, uh, you know, Dejuan sprained his ankle, guys, in the first half. And he fought through that. They retaked him at halftime. So, um, you know, and now he's in, in the treatment. So that, and that's what I've said when we fought, or not fought, when we discussed with the athletic directors, you understand that, you know, foul trouble and injuries and all that stuff isn't fair to the kids. But, you know, it, it uh, we got through the game, uh, not not the outcome we had hoped. You know, so like I said, we may, hopefully maybe I'll have Antonio back. I'd say Casey is a week to 10 days away, hopefully, if it all goes right. Uh, Luke, Luke is getting back in practice. We need a good – he hasn't played since last March. So – he needs a good two weeks of practice, but he can get involved now. So hopefully we can add some numbers and get some get some more bodies uh, uh, back in, in the mix. So I think Monty will have a uh, procedure done on his, on his knee uh, somewhere in the next week to 10 days. And, uh, you know, he'll be out for a while. So uh, we got what we got. Proud of Joey. I know you guys had him on here. It was great for him comes every day he's, he's really him and Drew have really saved us because there were times in the fall we only had seven guys and they were two of them so um, those are the guys you really appreciate appreciate that Joey got opportunity and actually he did a couple good things uh, he was a little under undermanned in the post but uh, did did a few good things so appreciate what he did thank you Bruce uh, the final question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, I know uh, you already kind of touched on, you thought you had a really good sh a scouting report on Cunningham, but I mean, given that the lowest he had scored in any game this year prior to tonight was 10, and you guys hold him to half that, I mean, did you guys do even better than you thought on him? Yeah, I, I thought the one thing, and I don't how many assists did he have? Uh, let me look. He had five. So, you know, and, and we tried to make him be a passer. He is a good passer, but we, the only thing we feared is his post up. We did a good job in, in, in not letting him get it in the post. Thought we did a good job in the ball screen. Uh, he hit that one pull up three at the end, but, and then we, we were really worried about transition and the transition, the first half transition hurt us and the second chance points. That was probably the difference in the, in that score. And, and it's been something that's plagued us all year. So, but uh, some of that, you know, again, I don't, you know, we got to get better at it, but it, it would have helped to have more bodies and have some rest maybe to, to uh, help us. But, uh, you know, I, I, a buddy of mine or a good friend, 
keeps telling me the season doesn't matter. And, and I promise you, it does matter. It matters to our kids. It matters to our staff. I know it matters to the fans. And uh, all we can do is deal with the cards we're dealt with and make the best of it. And then last thing for me, Bruce, I mean, I know obviously it came in a losing effort, but how, how special was that for Joe to get that kind of playing time? And you talked about how much it meant to him growing yeah, up. I mean, a fan. Somebody, I told somebody, my neighbor, you know, Joey was going to have to play. And uh, he goes, can he pull a Pearson McAtee and, 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 you know, have his Pearson moment. And I thought he, I thought he was really good. Again, Joey comes every day. We ask him to be the power forward. We ask him to be a guard. We ask him to be on scout squad. We ask him, he, he knows the stuff. He's been here. Drew's been great too. Drew just missed some and he's so new to it. Um, it would have been tough to put him in that circumstance, but uh, appreciate those guys. Appreciate our guys. Proud of them. Um, just got to hope they, hope they keep their faith, keep their spirit, and we can get a little better and execute a little better.